Hello guys, in this video I'm going to compare different uh, coolants you can make use of in oxygen not included. Now before we get started let's uh, check the most important uh, parameters for cooling. To me of course the most important parameter is this specific heat capacity. You want that to be very high and that is because uh, the thermo aqua tuner which is going to be used for cooling down any liquid is just cooling by 14 degrees. So no matter what the specific heat capacity in the liquid is, the aqua tuner cools down, it will just remove 14 degrees from it. So the more heat capacity you have in your liquid, uh, the more uh, cooling you receive per invested uh, power. So that is why you want a specific heat capacity to be very high. The second uh, most important parameter to me is the difference between the freezing point and the vaporization point. Um, and that is because uh, that is going to be the range in which your uh, coolant will stay in a liquid form. For instance, uranium will stay in a liquid form between 133 degrees Celsius and more than 4000 degrees. So it has a very wide area of usage, so to say. And the least most important uh, parameter for coolant, in my opinion, is thermal con conductivity. You want that parameter to be very high uh, for a very efficient yeah, heat transfer to anything you want to cool or heat up. So let's jump into it and comp compare the different uh, liquids I have here. Start with the worst <laughs> liquids you can use for, for cooling. Uh, in my opinion, that it's gonna be uranium, at least out of um, the metals. This one is the one with the highest specific heat capa capacity of 1.7 almost. It has a good uh, conductivity and as I've already mentioned, it has a, has a quite yeah, wide area of usage. But the specific uh, heat capacity is very mediocre, 1.7. Uh, there's a lot of uh, better liquids in the game you can use for coolant. Uh, the next uh, liquids we have here is going to be the hyd hydrocarbons. We have three different types of hydrocarbons in the game. Ethanol, uh, crude oil and also petroleum. They mostly have a very similar specific heat capacity, 1.7. Yeah, Maybe ethanol is the best out of it, but on the downside it has a limited area um, of usage just between 78 degrees on the height and 114 degrees on the bottom. Uh, that is maybe something crude oil and petroleum do a lot better because they stay in the liquid form between 40 and 400 degrees Celsius in case of uh, crude oil and minus 57 to 530 for petroleum. So these liquids are quite okay performing for coolant but not great. Because in, even in early game you have access to more efficient coolants. Let's go to the next coolants here. And that is going to be water and also brine or salt water which have pretty much the same uh, yeah, properties for cooling. First of all you see that a specific heat capacity is very high at 4.1. That is pretty much true for both. 4.179 for water a bit better. But on the other hand, salt water can be used until mi minus 7.5 degrees Celsius, and water is yeah it's gonna freeze at zero degrees as you all know. So water has a quite limited uh, area of usage for a coolant, but it's still quite usable, so to say. But even in early game you have access to polluted water already, as you can see it has the same specific heat capacity as water, but it stays in its liquid form between minus 20 and plus 120 degrees, so providing us with an extra 40 degrees of usable range, so to say, over water for instance. So in early game you should always use polluted water for any cooling. Then the next better uh, liquid for cooling would be nuclear waste in my opinion because there's a huge jump in specific heat capacity as you can see which uh, will result in a very efficient cooling meaning less power investment and receiving more coolant for the same amount of power you invest. 
Uh, on the downside, we have a limited uh, usage around the lower temperatures. Uh, it will freeze already at 27 degrees, but it still will stay in a liquid form until over 500 degrees. So as long as you can make sure that your cooling loop will always stay above 27 degrees, you should use uh, nuclear waste for coolant. And then. Of course, uh, no surprise for this one, uh, the best coolant in the game is super coolant and that is because it has even a little higher specific heat capacity than nucle nuclear waste, 7.4 here, 8.4 there. It has a very good uh, thermal conductivity and it will stay in a liquid form for a very a wide range from minus 271 to 400. Uh, 36. So actually it's pretty much impossible to actually freeze uh, super coolant down to ice. So I hope this uh, short comparison uh, helped you for your uh, gameplay. Thanks for watching. If you like the content please consider subscribing as well.